In Acts chapter 7, we have the story of, well, the death of Stephen. Stephen was one of those seven that was chosen to wait tables for the widows. And the scripture says he's full of grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. In chapter 6, he's accused of blasphemy. He's brought before the Sanhedrin. And he preaches one of the most powerful records of the history of Israel in all the Bible. He, he details all that God had tried to do and all the messengers that he had sent. And he ends up with two really specific detailed reasons why he gives the message. One, they've always rejected God's messengers. And two, God is no respecter of persons. And then at the end, there's, there's two major things I want us to look at, two verses I want to read. One, what he saw, and then also what he said. Being full of the Holy Spirit, Stephen gazes into heaven, and he saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, look, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Stephen saw this vision, and he saw Jesus standing there watching him, actually giving his life as he's being stoned for the gospel's sake. And then he said something that was very powerful. And it reminds me of Jesus himself. And this gives you kind of a insight into Stephen. And as they stoned Stephen, he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. So he sees the Lord standing to receive him. And he says to the Lord, don't charge them with this sin. This was Stephen, the first martyr. And God begins to do some amazing things, even as one of those who was following him, just a guy who started waiting tables, gives his life for the gospel and for Jesus Christ.